Good morning, everyone. It's a marvelous Monday morning. You ready to work out? I'm, I'm not. I gotta put on my high tops. I thought I'd wear my uh, kicks this morning because it's, I don't know, I like high tops and I had the best time watching the Goonies. The Goonies yesterday. You remember that movie? It's really funny. It's really funny. Hey, what's going on, Barbara? I'm putting my high tops on. And uh, the Goonies, I was talking about I watched the Goonies yesterday. It was so much fun. And I don't know if I ever saw it, but maybe I just saw it such a long time ago. I couldn't remember most of it. Definitely a great kid's film. And anyone that has a big kid inside themselves. Okay. So I'm putting on my high tops because there was a pair of red Converse high tops in the Goonies movie. And so I felt like I'm going to wear my high tops today because they're fun. So pay particular attention to the nature of your socks and your fun shoes during this time of the world. Right? So we're going to warm up so I can talk at you while we're warming up. Hey, Sally, how are you? So remember the workout, you just need two one-gallon uh, containers of water and two cans of, uh, well, in my case, fava beans and pinto beans. But it's whatever you have at home. If you have one pounders, these are about one pounders, two pounders, three pounders. And of course, if you have regular weights, then you'll get how to translate it that as we move through our workout. Good morning, Karen, good morning. Okay, so let's warm up our shoulders. Hopefully you've uh, been moving around a bit, maybe even took a hot shower. I know people say before you work out, yes. Especially if your body's cranky, if you have a cranky body. And if you have a cranky body, I'll make sure April puts the OPC free link, the Purple Magic Stuff link in the comments. If you are not aware of that wonderful uh, supplement, it really helps with cranky body. Yes, syndrome, cranky body syndrome, yes. Lynn, what's up? I know you're working out because you keep coming back. All right, here we go. So I got our cans. You could have three pounders in your hands. Please don't go heavier than that. We are warming up the rotator cuff. Warm weather is coming when it's nice, 8.30, nice. I will be, I will take this workout outside because it's really fun. The lighting's a little challenging, but I love the sound of the birds in the morning. And right now we still don't have many cars that come by. Okay, so we did the press, we did the behind the the tricep warm up, which would show up behind the head, and now we're doing the bicep curls like this, or did we just do that? You know, it's okay. It's a science, but it's not an exact science, especially during the warm up. We're just kind of getting our bodies going. Andrea, what's up? You gonna work out with me this morning? That's awesome. Okay, now we're gonna go like this. See that pour out, pour out, pour out. Yeah, yeah, if you're gonna drink something that isn't in alignment with your goal, you could just pour it on your clothing. Depends on what your goal is. Just pour it out. Pour it out. See how I turn and I lift the elbow. Turn and I keep my chest. My chest is out. I'm not, I'm not uh, rolled over like that or hunched over. Okay, nice and tall. You could do everything I'm doing from a chair if you need to. Now, here we go. We're doing our warm up. If you're joining me, just jump right in. We're warming up. If you're doing this as a recording, make sure you warm up and you cool down. Warm up prevents injury. That's the idea. And the cool down helps preventing you uh, from getting too sore. If you get too sore, a lot of people won't come back and that's not good. Okay, so we've poured out together. I gotta take this jacket off. I'm starting to get warm. I notice my heat's kicking on. It's still cool here in western North Carolina. Let me un let me kick that heat off. All right, so we're in the warm-up. Okay, and what we're doing is we're pouring together. And as everyone that's been hanging out with me, this is our chance to pour out our troubles, pour out any worries right here on the ground. And then here at my house, we have special uh, spray that cleans up all worries and frustrations. You can use it for dusting as well. But uh, in my training studio, when that was open, we always 
use peppermint spray if you like peppermint. A few drops of peppermint water. Please don't spray it in your eyeballs. But you can spray it around and lift your spirits. Okay, that's enough of those. Pouring it out. Now we're going to celebrate by doing a big sun sweep, a big arm sweep. Look at that. So I'm going to pour out all the obstacles to understanding how awesome I am and celebrating my awesomeness. And the fact that another Monday is here, Moon Day. What is it? May 11th, I think, at the time of this recording. Mm -mm. So we're pouring it out, pouring out our obstacles, demonstrating how awesome we are, and celebrating our awesomeness. Yes, that should feel really good right there. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're going to have fun working out the upper body today. Now we're going to take for the finish of the shoulder warm up. Notice how my arms are parallel to the ground, rotating forward. Yes, been doing this style of shoulder warm-up for years. Since 06, that's a long time ago, right? Mm. All right, yes. Use it to protect my shoulders and to work around my shoulder crankiness. It's been doing pretty good. My right one tends to be very cranky. Okay, one more. Mm, now that might have burned. That's okay. Burning is good. Sharp pain, tingling, buzzing pain. Pain that you're not sure about. Stop. Stop what you're doing. Keep yourself safe. Remember, I can't see you. You can see me, but I can't see you. So it is your responsibility to keep yourself safe, right? So we're going to jog in place. Jog in place. Or just march in place. March in place because we want to get our blood flowing. We're not doing much lower body today, um, but we are doing core stuff along with our upper body stuff. Hey Pam, what's up? It's so funny, it always say, so and so is watching, right? And then I go, are they watching or are they working out? I hope they're working out, I hope they're moving their body. I'm gonna give lots of beginner tips as I always do beginners and seniors. All right, let's swing, swing, right? We're just trying to get here, get our blood flowing, right? We're gonna be doing chest today. All right, so let's do some jacks, all right? So first one's gonna be a scissor jack. So I'm like this and like this. Now you can step back, okay? I'm gonna lower this camera just a hair. Everybody doing good? Just give me a thumbs up. You don't have to run over to your phones or anything, but just, you know, just do it. I'll pretend I, oh, thanks for all the thumbs up. I'll pretend I can see it. So a step jack, this is a step scissor jack, right? Or you're gonna do a scissor jack like that. Okay, it depends on you. You could do just the upper body seated in a chair. All right, let's just do 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And the arm could be opposite or it could be the same. Not a big deal. All right, let's do 10 jumping jacks or step jacks. So step jacks like this, right? And a jumping jack is like this. All right, 10 of those. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, so now let's do a happy jack. Happy jack is you pick up the leg instead of stepping it out. We're gonna alternate. You ready? Here we go. One, two, don't kick whoever's in the room with you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. I know you're waiting for it, you're waiting for a goofy jack. Okay, 10 goofy jacks, here we go. What do those look like? Anything you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoo, nine, and 10. That's kind of a happy goofy jack. Okay, so what are we doing first? First thing we're gonna do is a chair dip, chair dip. We're gonna focus first on chest and triceps and this is an upper body day, and obviously a little movement, a little agility. Wednesday, or the, the other ones, right, which will be Wednesday live, will be lower body. And then on Fridays, we focus on arms, shoulders mostly, and core. But I do all that all the time, but you'll see each, if you hang out with me, you'll see how they all build on each other. All right, here we go, a chair. We have done these before. Because I'm sticking to my equipment, limited equipment, you may start seeing, since we're on code video 21, you may start seeing exercises coming back, but always in a different combination with a different emphasis on whether it's going to be absolute strength or endurance, things like that. Okay, so I'm facing you. Let me face sideways. 
So you put your hands on a sturdy, strong chair. My knees are bent. If I'm a beginner, I'm just gonna hold my butt off the chair. If I'm a real beginner and I just don't feel confident about my strength. I'm gonna straight leg it a little bit, get my butt off and I'm gonna dip down. I'm gonna come down pretty far and back up. I'm not gonna go past parallel with the upper, upper arm, right? I'm gonna come out and dip down, keeping my back close to the chair, but don't scrape your back, okay? Don't hurt the, the skin. Okay, you ready? We're gonna do 12 of these. All right, here we go. Focus, belly's tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up. Seven, go down as far as you can. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good. Now, some folks, they feel that a lot in their shoulders, so don't go as deep, but you also might not be warmed up enough. For many, for many years, I had to really warm this up before I could use it, and I even did friction massage like this to get it uncranky. Is that a word? Okay, so chair dips and then chair presses. So we're going to take our, our bigger weights, or you could use cans, and as I've told everybody, frankly, you can do all this without weight, but your body does weigh something, so just uh, keep yourself safe. If you're confused about how to make sure it's successful for you, please uh, send me a message. All right, here we go. We're sitting up nice and tall, because today we're going to do a, a shoulder press. Hold it here, and we're going to press straight up 12 times. One. Do that, two, three, hold your belly in, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good. So remember, you can lower your weights, raise your weights to make it harder. You can also stand power stance and press up okay next one is plank and we're going to do a plank uh, on elbow right or if in a chair you might with a chair you might have to stay on your hands which is easier and we're going to focus on our core and we're going to make it harder on our core by alternating a straight leg lift okay so i'm going to demonstrate from the chair straight arm and then plank. That means my butt is down and plank. Think of plank of solid oak. I'm solid from my shoulder to my heels. I'm in one straight line. Some of you, if you feel anything in your back at all, should lift your butt a tiny bit and squeeze your buttocks tight. Now here we go. I'm gonna all time. I'm gonna pick up my foot, set it down slowly, pick up my foot, set it down slowly. If you do a lot of plank, you want it more advanced than you're on the floor for this movement and on your elbows, which will make it even tougher. All right, here we go. In the chair, alternating to 10, nice and slow. Squeak, one, two, don't let your leg fall. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, squeezing the glute, nine, one more, and ten. We're going to be doing those slow because it's, it's about holding your weight up or on your elbows like this, and it's about controlling your body. When you lift your legs and you alternate lift, don't turn your body. Right, keep your core, your brain connected to your core. That's what we're doing, connecting your brain to your whole body. And you keep your core and your back level, okay? All right, so we're going back to the first thing, which is the chair dips. Remember, if this is a recording right now, not live, you can hit pause so you can get water or whatever you need. If it's live, get water anyway, and then catch up with what I'm doing or just jump back in, right? Okay, here we go, chair dips, 12 of them. I'm straight legging, beginners just hold everybody else. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Come all the way up. Five. Get your body out from between your shoulders. Six. Do not rush. Seven. 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Very nice, all right. So now we're gonna do the press, okay? I'm gonna put the weights here, right? I am sitting up nice and tall, or I'm standing, or I have cans, or I have empty hands, whatever I need to be successful. Ready, 12 reps. One, 12 repetitions. Two for you, three for me. Four, because we're going to do some more. Five, I'm alive. Six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, eight is great. Nine is fine. Ten, don't rush the movement. Eleven, belly's in, chest is out. Twelve, good job. All right, going back to the plank. All right. I'm gonna go to the floor. Remember, you can use the chair. So I'm on the floor right here in a solid plank. Head is neutral, alternating to 10 with my legs. Squeeze your belly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Very good. That was good. Good job. All right, I'm going to get a little sip of water. All right, let my body recover a little bit. Mm. When I don't let you recover, it's because I'm creating endurance, right? Or mental fortitude. Yeah, that's your phrase to look up for the day. Write a poem about it. Okay, when I take a little breather, that's why we're moving slow, which requires more muscle, and we're working on pure kind of like strength that would result hopefully in hypertrophy, which means more tone or more muscle fibers. And in people over 50, 60, 70, we're actually, what we're really, really working on is called recruitment, and that's where your muscle fibers decide or choose to show up for the workout party. Okay, that's what we're working on. Okay, third round, chair dips. If these seem easy to you, you could take your two gallons of water, put them in a bag, and put them on your lap. Right? Yep, you could do that. Okay, you could have someone sit on your lap. Uh, I don't recommend in a full adult, maybe uh, five years old or less, right? Okay, I'm sorry if I gave that idea and people are screaming now. Okay, here we go. Chair dips, straight leg. 12 reps, ready, go. One, two, if you have to, just hold it. Three, if you can, rep it. Four, five, don't rush. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, one more. 12, very good. Don't let yourself get fatigued enough that you would miss the chair. Make sure you make the chair. So just to review, beginner or senior or someone that doesn't have that strength, right? You just push out like that and hold it and lock those arms, right? That still stimulates the tricep and some chest, okay? All right, so now we're gonna pick up our weight. We're gonna do our press, our shoulder press. Take a deep breath, here we go. 12 reps, if it seems easy, you need more weight. One, two, three, four, looking good. Five, with control, belly's in, chest is out. Six, seven, eight, relax your neck, I know that's hard. Nine, 10, two more. 11, one more, 12, very good, very good. Okay, we're gonna go to the plank. So I did it from the chair, straight arm. I did it from the ground, straight arm, on the third round, which um, for me personally, I like to try to always make that more challenging. Okay, but everyone's gonna do what's appropriate for their level. Okay, I'm on my elbows. 
very straight plank. My buns are lifted just a hair. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now, all right, that round's done. Yes. Very good. Okay, what's next? What's next? All right, let's jog in place. Get some water. Okay. Hope that felt good. I know you're warm now. All right, so we're sticking with chest. When I do upper body, sometimes I'm going to start with the back. Sometimes I'm going to start with the chest. When I'm doing dice and cards, who knows what's going to happen, right? Because that's up to the universe. Woo. All right. Okay, as you learn all these movements, remember you can go back to the dice and card games. Most of them have my notes there and you can roll your own dice on cards and create your own unique workout. We're gonna be doing push-ups, okay. And then we're gonna do push-up to frog plank and then we're gonna do up and overs. Okay, that's the three. Okay, so let's talk about push-ups, all right? Push-ups is this movement. Right now, you know, if you've been hanging out with me, you're going to head to the kitchen. If you're not in the kitchen, and you're going to do it on the countertop. All right? You, can't, um, you can do push-ups on a chair, but most chairs don't let you. This is actually harder because your hands are close together. So I could do it over here on my couch arm like this. Yeah. I might be able to do it on my couch cushions, but they're usually soft and it feels weird on the wrists. So pick where you can do it, straight body versus modified. I'm gonna do mine on the ground. All right, I do a lot of push-ups. We're gonna do 12 push-ups, you ready? Here we go. Push-up is a plank. You're in plank and then you lower your body, push up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, do your best. Eight, you can modify if you need to. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Awesome! Bravo, bravo. It doesn't matter if you're on the kitchen counter, over here, on the chair, it doesn't matter. You did push ups. Congratulations. Okay, now if you are someone that your shoulder says no, then just hold plank, right? Count to 12 with us. Okay, so push-ups, push-up to frog plank. All right, so chair. If I just did countertop push-ups, I know what my strength level is. I'm gonna hold plank in a chair. I'm not gonna worry about the push-up part. I'm gonna do frog plank, frog plank. So did you see that? See how I'm in plank and I bring my knee over to, towards my shoulder. Knee over towards my shoulder. Okay, technically, you could also do it from table, not in a plank, and you would stick your leg out, bring it in, set it down. Stick your leg out, bring it in. Very, very good for the hips, as long as you're squeezing your abs while you do it. Okay, so push up to frog plank, 12 of these. For those of you who have been working out with me a while, uh, they do something with me called boot camp with a K, right? So we're going to be um, doing a push-up, one push-up, frog plank, frog plank. That's one. Here's two. Frog plank, frog plank. Here's three. Whew. Lift that leg. Four. Whew. Whew. Five. Whew. Whew. <laughs> That's six. Push up, seven. Keep going, come on, we got this, eight. Ha, nine, gotta get the frog plank in there. 10, woo, 11, and this is 12. All right, oh, that was hard, for sure. That's why I give you all those choices. Okay, so next one is leg up and overs. 
You can do it on the ground, but actually I prefer it from a bench or a chair. So I gotta catch my breath now. That was a tough one. Mm. Okay, so we're sitting on the edge of our chair. Not so much you could fall off. And I have my tall gallon of water here and I have both my feet together and my high top woven silk kick. See them right there? Okay, yeah, they're cool. All right, sitting up tall and what I'm gonna do is squeeze my belly so I'm gonna pick my legs up and over that gallon of water. Don't slam your gallon and spill water, okay? We're called up and overs. We're gonna do 12 of these, so we go up and over. Now the key is not just to swing and slide my butt on my chair. That's, that's not any muscle. It's fun, but there's no muscle. So I'm gonna keep my belly pulled in, keep myself straight off the chair as I swing my legs over. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bend your legs if you have to. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, one more, 12, good job. Let's say that what really bothers your back, like you feel it in your back. That has a lot to do with the strength of your hip flexors holding the weight of your legs. So the way if I'm in a chair and that's just too much for me, I'm gonna press my legs together, pick up my knees, and just try to turn them and minimize my side to side movement, forcing my abs and my hip rotators to make that movement, okay? Good job. All right, we get to do all that again. Yes, isn't that great? Okay, good. All right, the first thing on the menu. In the meal of physical fitness, second course is push-ups. So right now, it's okay, just take off to your kitchen, go do 12, nice and slow and controlled. Don't worry about what I'm doing. I'm gonna do them on the floor, right? You might do them on your couch handle furniture that doesn't move. Okay, all right, here we go. 12 push-ups. Ready, and go. One, two, don't rush. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost there. 10, two more, 11, 12. Good job, good job. Now we do need to chill for about 30 seconds to a minute so we can do that next exercise. So we're gonna let the blood get back in our chest muscles because we're adding that push up to frog plank or you could do frog from a table on your chair. So technically you could do it if you're at your kitchen counter and you did a push up then you marched your legs, but it's not the same impact on your hips as being from plank. So I would prefer you let the push-up part go, get in a nice plank on chair, right? So this is my preference for people that are beginners, is you're in a plank and you turn and lift that leg. Because that really forces this part that's not moving to hold that position. Don't let it dip or bow out, you lock it in. And that connects your brain to your hips. Very important. Okay, we ready? Okay, so if I'm on a chair and then plank and I frog it. Now without the push-up, you're gonna get done before the folks that are doing push-ups. That's okay. Enjoy the rest. Just get done and wait. Okay, here we go. Push-up to frog plank. I do one push-up, frog, frog, like that. So I'm in plank. Frog, frog, push-up. Frog, frog, you can do rivet if you want to. Okay, all right, here we go. Stop stalking, stop stalking. All right, one push up. Frog, frog, two, frog, frog, three. Pick that leg up, pick that leg up. Four, <clears throat> five, yeah, getting stronger. Six. Squeeze everything, seven. Down, down, you got this. This is number nine. Whew. Whew. 10, pick that leg up. Yes. Whew. 11, 
One more. <clears throat> oh, very good. Oh my goodness. Who comes up with this stuff? <sighs> okay. Now I know how those late night comedians feel where they crack a joke but nobody laughs. Well, somebody's laughing. I just, we just can't hear you. Oh, I start kicking my butt. All right, leg up and overs is next. On a chair. Holding on to that sturdy chair. Legs are straight. If this, if you can keep it in your abs. If you feel it in your back, you're gonna bend the legs and bring them up towards your chest. Out one direction and then the other direction. Whew. All right, 12 reps, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I love that. Very good. Okay, good job. Uh, we're working on the sides of our core today and our hip rotators. Muscles that are inside your hips. All right, and they attach your femur to your hip area. And some people feel that challenge in your back because that's your back is also your lower back is attached to that outside of the hip bone there. If you want to do something really awesome, go look at a chart. I call it Red Fred, but it's an anatomical chart of all your muscles. And really look at your body, at all those muscles and how they're connected and how, you know, where the origin is and where the insertion is and when they contract, what happens to your body. One thing I really want people to understand is how awesome, I'm not joking around, you are an awesome being of mechanical, biomechanical intensity. You know, it's, you want to look at that and appreciate it and understand more why it's so important for us to do exercises, what we call functional fitness, where we connect the brain to the muscle fibers. Like the hamstrings aren't one muscle, they're a whole bunch of muscles. Your hip rotators are, they look kind of like a fan. I mean, it's awesome. Yes, you are. Okay. All right, we gotta do our third set. You ready? All right, here we go. So, 12 push-ups. Kitchen countertop is fine. Do them slow and methodical. I'm gonna do them on the floor again. Little, little hard to do them from the chair. If you are someone that says it hurts too much, elbows won't cooperate, shoulder won't cooperate, then hold plank, right? in a chair and count, wait till everybody's done, right? And then that you've held plank and that will strengthen those muscles. Okay, here we go, 12 push-ups. Last set for this workout. Yes, all right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, one more, 12. Very good, very good. Okay, we're relaxing, or better yet, we're recovering. <laughs> relaxing is not really the truth, right? We're gonna relax when we're done. So we're just gonna kinda invisible jump rope or just dance a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. We gotta recover for about 30 seconds to a minute. Now what some mistakes people do when they get in a gym or they're at home, they do something hard and they wait two to three minutes or longer. That's terrible because your body's kind of forgetting what you just did and we're building on top of the repetitions we just did. So that's why there's three sets and today 12 repetitions. And we rest just enough to feel like, okay, okay, I can do this. But technically by the books, by the science, it would be 30 seconds to a minute, anywhere in there and we're there. Okay, so what are we doing? We're either doing frog planks on the chair without a push-up. So we're just frogging, picking those legs up, holding our belly really tight, or we're doing those crazy frog plank push-ups on the ground. Okay, here we go. You ready? I know you're not. It's okay, do it anyway. All right. Woo, push-up number one. Push-up, one, frog. Frog, ribbit, ribbit, two, 
Three. Frog. Frog. Four. Frog. Frog. Five. Frog. Frog. <laughs> Six. Do it again. Seven. I'm not going to lose count. If, trust me. Eight. We're over halfway. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Ooh, one more. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Oh, I'm glad we don't have to do that again. That's right. Have you ever watched those workout videos where the person doing it just acts like, oh, this is nothing. What's wrong with you? No, they don't act like that. <sighs> You're obviously not going to get that with me. <laughs> that was hard. Okay, legs are straight. The legs are bent. We're squeezing our abs as tight as we can. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Do that again. <sighs> okay. All right. Legs are straight. I have my gallon of water or your legs are bent, coming over like that, okay? 12 reps, ready, go! One, two, three, get those feet up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, one more, 12, yay! That's over with. <laughs> I don't rehearse this. I've been working out a really long time, since I was 15. That was 40 years ago. <clears throat> and I've been training people, honestly, working out and training with people since 1982. Been certified since 1993. So, these workouts just come out of my brain onto the paper. And my goal is to keep them different, so you don't get like, no, not that again. So if you don't like this workout, you probably won't see it again, unless you do the recording more than once. All right. Okay, so we've done a lot of chest. I could really tell that at the end of that set, the third set. So now we're gonna switch to back. And we're gonna hinge and we're gonna hold and row. So let me, while you're recovering, cause now it's okay that we rest a little longer because we're changing muscle groups. Okay, if you hang out with me, You'll probably learn enough where you too could be a trainer and help the world be a healthier, happier place. Okay, so hinge, hold, and row. So what that means, I can be in a chair. I'm gonna do it standing, but many of us need to be in a chair and you, you hinge forward. So your chest is up and you hinge forward. And let's just say, because I'm not sure of my strength and the eight pound gallons are too heavy and I have my cans, I'm gonna pinch my shoulder blades together keeping my shoulders out of my ears, and I'm gonna drop one down and just row that side. But what's happening on the other side is I'm not resting it, I'm holding it isometrically. So this shoulder blade's over. The, the challenge though is a lot of people let their traps um, creep their shoulder towards their head or ear, and that's not good. So you gotta keep that shoulder down, even though you're lean forward. Like I'm gonna show you, like here's, uh, I'm holding on the my left and I'm rowing see that and then I lock this one up on number 12 and I row the other side okay so now let me turn or so I'm holding this one and I'm rowing the other one okay so that's from the chair you can do the same thing with the gallons right I'm gonna pinch them up and I'm gonna not rest this one on my <laughs> don't rest this on your leg make sure it's it's weighted the arm and I'm rowing this side. Okay, now I'm gonna do it without the chair. So remember, standing tall, a hinge is pushing the hips back, slightly bending the knees, belly's pulled in, chest is out. Right, so I'm hinged forward, right? I'm gonna row both of them together and then just row one side. Okay, everybody got it? All right, we're rested. Whew. We're ready to go, we're right on time. Leaning forward, row them both. Now row one side only, here we go. One, going to 12, two, 
three, pull that elbow back towards the hip, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good. Now bring it up, hold it, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, keep your shoulders out of your ears, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Squeeze together, set them down. Grab the cans, or depending on who you are, you might grab three or five pounders if you have those. We did these the other day, they're called ITs. You can do it from your chair. So if I'm in a chair, I'm gonna go lean forward, right, hinging forward, I and T. Everybody see that? Lean forward, I, T. So we're gonna do it, I'm gonna do it from this position. I know we did a couple extra, here we go, we're doing 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good. That's awesome. That's a gentle, it could be heavier, three to five pounds, to really activate the smaller muscles across the back of your shoulders and your shoulder blades. Okay, that's why you gotta stay engaged mentally. Next one is windmills, because we do, we're working on core, and I'm working on these side muscles. So a windmill is my feet are apart, we did them. This is the advantage of being with me through the whole, you know, start tracking each workout, because the knowledge builds on itself. So if you're familiar with yoga, you know what triangle pose is, right, like this. And I can do this from a chair, if I'm gonna windmill, just don't fall off. Your chair so if I'm in a chair I'm gonna windmill to the side right the key in a chair is keep your feet grounded pull your belly button in and then you're gonna sit straight up like that see how my arm stays up so pretend you're this hand the palms right at that ceiling and even though I'm leaning over that palm keeps holding up the ceiling and then I straighten up like that okay and that uses my side muscles all right so that's from a chair. I'm gonna turn out the side I'm going to. I'm gonna turn that foot out. The other foot is straight ahead, so it's like a 90 degrees. If I look down, this foot, the one that's out from the side I'm gonna use, would the heel will intersect with the other heel, okay? Now I've got one arm up, one arm down. Now for me personally, I'm gonna load my arms. So I have a, a gallon of water here and a gallon of water up. And I, as I lean over, I'm gonna bend the leg I'm leaning towards so I can get in this position and come back up. We're going to 10, that's one, two, three. You have to lock that arm up. Four, this is called a double windmill, five, Six, seven, pay attention to what you're doing with your head. Eight, try to keep it neutral. Nine, 10, good. So I'm gonna switch my feet in my chair. I'm just gonna switch my arms. Get this arm, the up arm is locked up. Don't dump water, though that would feel good right now. All right. Leaning over, bending the leg I'm going towards slightly, and up. One, two, three, going to ten, four, five, standing tall, chest is out, belly's in, six, yes, I'm going to keep saying that, seven, don't bend that up arm, eight, nine, one more, 10, very good, very, 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 very good, Woo! here come the geese, they're about to land, you might hear them, they announced themselves, oh, 
Okay. So in the, in the sun's dancing, going in, in and out behind the clouds, and that's why my light changes. And I am actually looking forward to taking this outside. I love being out there. I love bringing you out there with me. Okay, we have this. We've got plenty of time to finish this workout. Hinge, hold, and row. In the chair or without the chair. So I'm hinging. Take a deep breath. Bring them both up. One side. One. Two. Three. Four. Slow on the way down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Hold on twelve. Hold it. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, chest is out. Eight, keep your shoulders out of your ears. Nine, 10, 11, hold on 12. Squeeze, set them down. All right, we're using our cans. This could be in your chair. This is gonna be IT, here we go. IT, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good. Yes. Okay, windmills. Remember, you can do them with no weight, like this, and you can do them with no weight or with cans in the chair. You could do them with uh, probably the gallons in the chair as well, as long as you can keep that arm locked. If you can't, it's too much weight. Okay, here we go. Windmill position. All right, nice and tall, belly in. Fine-tuning detail is this palm is facing forward. It's facing away from your body. Okay, this one's locked up. Ready, and here we go. To the side. And one. Keep going. And two. And three, go in the ten. And four. And five. And six. And seven. Keep going. Eight is great. Nine, you're doing fine. Ten, you win. Very nice. I also didn't mention you could just have a weight in your bottom arm and keep a can or empty weight in the top arm. See, there's all ways to make this a win for you. Win, win. So I'm gonna pick up this weight, lock this arm up. 10 reps, here we go. Here we go. One. Two. Three, <laughs> that top gallon is leaking. And four. Five, it's raining inside. Six, seven, eight, and nine. One more. You got this. Come on, come on. Keep your belly in. And ten. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. You see right there? It's, it's, I guess I got a hole in it. It's leaking. It's raining on me. That's okay. I can handle that as long as it doesn't just pour a gallon all over the living room. I'm good. Okay, we're almost done. We're right on time. We got one more set and then we're gonna cool down. So just hang out with me, okay? Again, when I'm building strength, that tends to lean itself towards more tone, feeling more powerful in your body. You have to have adequate rest between sets. We can do stuff like this, like balance on your foot. Balance on your foot, yeah, yeah, one foot. Okay, if you're on the couch or on the chair, you gotta stand up, balance on your foot. Can you do this? Can you put that leg up and balance? This is non-strenuous recovery, or what they call active recovery. Now the other foot. Okay, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, yep, yep, yep. So if any of the rowing exercise seems easy, you need more weight. The eight pounds isn't enough. All right? All right, good. Okay, all right. Here we go. We're finishing. Right here, let's do it. Okay, I got my eight-pound gallons, eight pounds each. 
I'm rowing them up, one side only. Here we go. One, two, you can do this from the chair. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hold on, twelve. Hold it. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hold that other one up. Twelve. Squeeze together. Set them down. Grab your lighter weight. If you can do the IT with those eight, eight pounds, eight gallons, you need more weight on the first thing. Okay, here we go. I, T, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're going to 12, nine, 10, 11, 12, very good. Okay, set up for your windmills. Let's get this done. All right, feet are in the right position, like a triangle pose. Lock this arm up. Okay, here we go. Go into 10, over to the side, and up. Don't rush. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Who's strong? Raise your arm if you're strong. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Switch your weights. Switch your arms if you're in the chair. Here we go. Ground your feet. One. It's raining. Man, everybody remember this one. <laughs> Three. Here we go. Four. You got this. Stand up very tall when you get to the top. Five. Six, make sure you move those hips over. Seven, you're almost there. Eight, you're doing great. Nine, one more, one more. Ten, yes, 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 we did it, we did it. You made it through the workout. Awesome, awesome. Now, I'm, I'm, see now, if you sat on the couch the whole time, you're not gonna do this. That's why you have to just do it with me. You hit start, you gotta be ready to go, okay. All right, we gotta cool down now. Woo, we made that. We picked up somebody extra during too. I hope they were checking out. Okay, we're gonna stretch. We're gonna stretch, we gotta cool down. <sighs> Shh, don't, don't tell anybody about the frog push-ups. All right, those were tough. Okay, hey Betsy, how are you? Oh, okay, I know a lot of people are gonna do this after it's live. Congratulations for showing up and taking care of yourself. Don't hesitate to send me a message, private message, if you have questions, if you need encouragement, or if you just wanna celebrate yourself, do it. All right, just kind of stretch, do the stretches I'm doing. This is for our shoulder blades. All right, now let's do this tricep stretch because that's for all those things we did at the beginning, right, with the, the chair dips. Ooh, now look up, look up, notice the difference in that stretch. Might even feel that in your belly. All right, switch to the other side. All right, okay. Good, good, good. Let it down. Now put your hands, lace them if you can behind you or grab them or you might be somebody you need a towel. Put them behind you and really stretch those uh, shoulders back and down. Yeah. Oh, that feels good. Good. Yes. High protein, gluten free, cookie monster, good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. That feels good. Okay, now we did a lot of core. Core you may not even realize. So you might get sore inside your hips. You might get sore in your ribs and these side muscles, which is good. Sore is strength coming onto your body. Okay? And your mental fortitude happening. All right? So we're gonna take this arm and we're gonna lean it out. And I'm really trying to stretch this whole part of my body. Stretch, stretch. 
Okay, you can also, I have my feet apart for the camera, but you could have your feet together and stretch. So either way works, all right? Either way. And now switch to the other side. Oh, yes. You are awesome. You made it. Hi, Darby. How are you? Yes, it's almost time. It's almost time. She's, she's, I don't even have to cue her. You're just great. How are you? Are you doing good? You ready to go? Are you warmed up? Okay. All right. So thank you so much for joining me again. Let's finish with our breathing, our Qigong for our angel Peggy. Okay. Oh, good job. Good job, everybody. Here we go. We're going to take a deep breath in. Just let those shoulders drop. Just let any concerns, any worries, just let them fall off of you and you take care of you. That's the most powerful thing you can do right now is love yourself. Set a loving self-love example for your friends, for your family, for your, your household. That's the best you can do right now. And, and, and my shout out to everybody else that's doing way more like nurses and police officers and you know everybody, veterans, military, yay. Just keep going. All right, here we go. Let's do another deep breath. <sighs> okay, one more, one more. All right. I love that. I love you. I will see you Wednesday morning. Go eat really well. You need a lot of protein, 25 to 35 grams, 25. You're a woman, man, 35 grams. You can do it. I love you. Take care.